Hey there guys, welcome to Pembys Gaming World and welcome to the fantastic buildable world of Fallout 4. The explorable world, it's just, it's an amazing game um, I'm, as I'm discovering, you know, because I never give it a chance. But anyway, let's press the button to start, let's continue where we're up to. 5 hours 35 minutes. So, you know, and that's nearly <laughs> near enough in one session, that is. Just inside the city limits. Hey, Carla. Hey there. See, so basically, you know, you get you, you get out of the shelter, you end up back here, you talk to Codswallop here, and um, you rescue these people. You you help them out, basically, in this little bit of a town, which is just over that bridge over in the distance. And uh, you all end up here. Back here, you One can customise your weapon there, and uh, all your weapons. And you have this thing, your workshop, which enables you to make base building. You press A on the... 360 joypad I'm using you notice this green haze it's not the fog and you know remake of the horror movie the fog what it actually is is a border you can't go beyond that when you come you're searching for bits and bobs so let's get a piece of wood press X a scrap it and then that's in your inventory it's there to be used same with that piece there's your wood now you notice over there there's a fallen street lamp now what these have is copper wire. It doesn't say copper, but see that bit where it says fuse? When it says fuse, you know it's copper wire. It's been, it's, it's been involved, you know, if you know anything about electrics. There you go. Got a bit of wood while I'm here. Another bit of steel. Now this area had a load of rubble on there and you just you just clear it, but you actually use it, the, the rubble to your advantage. So let's go to stru structures. Um, wood floors now there's your doorway there so you, you let's just start in the corner here you gotta just line it up the first piece is probably the most tricky all right there we go that looks good enough to me the next one just steps into place Now you notice it's um, it's not gone quite to the end, but we're not bothered about that at this moment in time. This is just to show you how easy it is to put a piece of flooring down. Now when you come to putting a wall around where you've built there, you have to make sure you're cursing. See that little green dot? Make sure it's not pointing it there. Just make sure it's pointed freely like that. And you should choose a wall section and just manipulate your joysticks your left and right joysticks on your joypad there you go plonk it down plonk it down plonk it down plonk it down it's piss easy this motherfucker <coughs> sorry it's easiest I mean oops did that wrong See what I mean? Well, pointing at something. Let's get it again. There we go. Now this section here. There you go. There's your doorway. Now you have to have that section in order to put a door there. See what I mean? It, it punches out. So make sure your cursors point away. All right. Now let's go to. Um, that's a door, there we go, there's the door section. Do we have a nice... Um, let's have an old, an, a withered door. Yeah, see? Now if I come out of the editor by pressing select. Open, says me. You have to jump up. Now, obviously, that's, a, that's just so, basically, you haven't put a step there or anything to climb up into. You have to jump up into your own doorway, which is, you know, something you don't want. But we basically want to put a light. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put um, a roof section there. Actually, let's go back in. Hang on. That's what I am doing. Thank you. Got it took a while that. Now what I'm going to do now, point the cursor in the air, press circle to get away out of that. 
wood. I'm going to go to the roof section. I'm going to put a nice steady roof that doesn't let the elements in. There we go. Plonk that in place. That's a tip I can give anyone. Make sure your cursor's pointing freely and not a gate. No, not a, not in any of these directions where it highlights all the sections. And um, what should we have? Lighting. Let's get a light bulb and let's just just position it there for now. As you can see, there's a light bulb in there. Now it might not let me do this because I might not have enough parts. And uh, I don't actually I don't want to waste the parts, but basically what you need to do here near to where that light bulb is inside there. If I put a generator here, it will prompt you to attach wire. It's actually, let's go through the process. I'm not actually going to do it because, like I say, I don't want to use up my parts. Well, actually, I can just I can just uh, deconstruct it and I've got the parts back, so I might as well do it. Sod it. Right, let's put a generator there. There we go. We're just doing this. F no. That's what I mean. Let's get a switch. Now you go to those power connectors switches. Now you always use this one. So you mean I, I need I need copper? But if I, did, if I had the copper, I put that switch on the wall there, and then press Y at that point of the generator to attach the wire, and then run the wire to the switch, which is simple and it's very self-explanatory when you actually do it and then that light bulb inside there will light up so that's basically how you supply electric to your little uh, your little what's it but what i'm going to do now is going to get rid of all this because I, I need it for i need the supplies because i'm a tight ass so i'm going to do that oh how the hell does that stay there like that there we go Right, now it's back to how it was, you know, you can start all over again. Let's run over here. Let's come out of the editor. And here's one I built earlier. <laughs> As they say in Blue Peter. <laughs> if you live in England, you know what I mean. See what I mean? Generator, wire attached, switch. Get out of the way, po pooch. Po po pooch. Right, when I go through this door, no pissing in the corner, right? Here we go, we have the bed, and we have uh, a nice bit of carpet under the bed. We have uh, whatever that is on the outside, it's some kind of radiator sort of device. I've just put it there because it looks it looked right. <laughs> We've got a um, light bulb there. We've got some uh, pictures here. Another light bulb there. I originally had a bed here, but I thought because for some reason it wouldn't allow me to make a section where I had a doorway leading to another bedroom so I just put that wall there and uh, another bed inside here ashtray in case somebody wants as, as a sly fag light bulb because of the uh, generator outside a nice picture on the wall something to remind you something to remind you that life you know isn't as bad as it seems Let's go up here. I've made this section outside here, and I've built kind of a defence turret at the top of the uh, the roof. So you can, you know, when you get more advanced, you can put more stuff here, like better weapons and ammo and what whatever you can do with this game. I'm, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm not even scratch the surface of this game. It's just so the scope is so, you know, big. And like I say, I've never played a Fallout game before. This is my first time, but. Within a day, I've been able to build this, which anybody can do. Let's jump down. And uh, when you get really good at this game, you can do all kinds of fancy neon signs and things like that. So what, obviously, I want to get into that. Who's this turkey? Hope it's rain, oh, it's Preston Garvey, yeah. Yeah, I do too. But I think the video's going to end before the rain, because the rain never stops r raining whenever I do a video. Anyway, I'm Pemby66, this is uh, Fallout 4, and this is how to build a base, and how easy it is. And if you, I'd like to see, you know, video responses of uh, bases you've built when you've uh, 
you know, been playing this game on your, on your, on your, you know, on either Xbox, PS4, or PC. It doesn't matter. You know, it's creativity is the name of the game, not, not how well the game looks. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking this video out, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.